welcome to the MBS show, episode number 228. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Tayan Daga. I was offered an abundance of cookies and I've yet to be given them. What's going on? Well, you'll, you'll receive your cookie once the show's done. Unless、oh, the okay, Canadian、absolutely. mafia has something to say. Oh, I don't know about that, eh? I mean, we come to your door and knock on your door and we got the baseball bats, don't you know? <laughs> Better pay up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Cracks me every time. <laughs> the Canadian Mafia, the most polite way of going about Mafia business. Uh, true that. I don't know. Every time when you tell that joke or every time when I prompt you to do it, it makes me laugh. I don't know why. Well, I mean, it's just a funny thing because, of course, you know, Canadians are supposed to be all polite and, and nice, kind, and they say sorry more often than they should. So to have like a Canadian Mafia where they just apologize after everything, oh, sorry I broke your kneecaps, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> it really, really just hilarious. Ugh,、uh, so good. Well, yeah.、Uh, but still, but still, how are you doing, man? I'm doing pretty well.、Uh, you know, it's a beautiful, sunny Saturday afternoon, so I'm really enjoying it. How about you?、Uh, it's night, dark, cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark and miserable out here. <laughs> I love time zones. <laughs>、uh, yeah.、Uh, time zones are just wacky, ain't it? Absolutely. Why don't we just have one side of the earth living nocturnally and the rest can live in the sun? <laughs> oh my god, do you know how bad that would be? Yeah, you wouldn't get enough, like, vitamin D. Imagine that. Everyone would, like, be really pale. Oh, just imagine the burning that would happen on the other side of the world. Like, ugh. <laughs> well, it'd be fine on one side of the world, but then the other side of the world, everyone would have to live in complete darkness because they'd be sleeping during the day. Yeah, and they'll get used to it. <sighs> Either way. <laughs> Geography aside, this is not your first time, right? Absolutely not. I'm a, I'm a regular. No, I'm not a regular. Here, I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a fill-in. <laughs> <laughs> You've been around the block. Let's just say that. I have been around the block. I am not Jenny on the block, though. Yeah, but still, but still, welcome back, Ty. Usually, we ask the question like, "Oh, you haven't been on for a while. Let's ask you the two important questions." But nah, since you're just feeling the co-host seat for a bit. Um, well, we should just get in. Don't you agree? <laughs> just pretend I'm a natural. Yeah. <laughs> And that makes things go much more smoothly. Yeah, pretend like this never. <laughs> no, that, that's、yeah. terrible. We need this to happen. <laughs> yeah, we need this to happen. Otherwise, the recording is for shame. So what can we do? Yeah, unless we're going to play Left 4 Dead or something else. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we can't get distracted. We have to make sure that we stay focused. Focus your energy. Yep, true that, true that. So anyway,、uh, let's jump into the news. Absolutely. And the news for this week is Every Pony's favorite fright DVD release. So if you are not up to date with the whole、uh, MLP DVD thing, they do sell them. Like they do, they don't sell them in box sets like how we really want them, but they do sell them in compilation. And the latest compilation is well, what does A Goddard of Fire, All's Well That Ends Well, Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep, Scare Master, and Bridal Gossip have in common? Absolutely no ponies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one thing correct, but the proper answer is costume and scary stuff. Absolutely. Yep. You know what that means? Halloween. Indeed.、Mm. And well, since Halloween is just around the corner, and this DVD here is well, kind of Halloween. In team, so we have sort of. yeah, true. <laughs> so we have this out there, and I think you can get it now. No, oh, it's August thirtieth. Like it's end of the month. Wait, no, it's, you can already get it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, but, you can get it now. Yeah, it's available, I believe. Yeah, yeah. like give me like part of like I'm just confused because of the whole DVD thing. Like I I just buy it on iTunes, so I don't really care. <laughs> Now, one thing that I'm a bit confused with this little set. Of course, it's a very nice set. I, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't know they did this, where they had these sort of they get like a couple of episodes, merge them together, and ship them out for like a Halloween or some other celebration. But、uh, one thing that I don't know: why don't they have the 28 pranks episode? Oh, that's still new. Why did I know it's new? But like this would have been perfect for Halloween,、yeah. wouldn't it? I think they did originally, but because of how the printing and how scheduling was. Um, if I do understand right,、uh, they had it on the list, but they had to remove it because, well, the twenty-eight 
Prank's later episode was not aired yet. So for them to have it on DVD before it released, it's it, it's really wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Yeah, it would have been a shipping nightmare, I imagine. But still, it kind of feels like they should have maybe held off, waited for that one, because that would have been like the perfect Halloween episode, you know? Halloween and pranks go together very well. Of course, there was the whole zombie theme too, so that could have worked as well. And to see it not in this set is kind of odd. But either way, uh, you've, of course, got a plenty of other really nice episodes. I don't really know why Gauntlet of Fire is in there for a Halloween episode, but nonetheless... <laughs> yeah, I, I do That's agree okay. with you on that. Like, having 28 pranks later would have fit perfectly in this uh, DVD collection. And Gauntlet of Fire, besides the whole Twilight and Rarity changing costumes on the whim, was kind of, well, okay... Um, I just don't see how it fits into like a Halloween set, but I mean, who am I to complain? Yeah, true, of course, true, true. you know, it's it's there, and it's a good episode nonetheless. Mm-hmm. So, uh, if you enjoy that episode and the other four, then you're gonna like this set. Yep, and this DVD is available on Amazon uh, for nine ninety six dollars. If that's a very weird price, <laughs> I don't know, maybe ten, but let's just say ten bucks. Yeah. About ten bucks, yeah. That's and that's not too bad, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Ten bucks is ten bucks is cool. Like for a DVD, ten bucks is ten bucks is okay. Uh, honestly, I don't buy DVDs anymore, so I got no idea. <laughs> Yeah, me either. I was about to say, like, the last time I think I've seen a DVD, um, well, frankly, the last time I've seen, like, my DVD player was probably pff, five, six years ago. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but then again, you know, everything's done all online nowadays, mm-hmm. so, um, yeah, that's always the case. But either way, here's yeah. a good DVD set if you like that sort of thing. Maybe it's in, is it in Blu-ray too? Uh, no, it's just on DVDs. Ooh. Really too bad. It would be really <laughs> awesome if you want, it would be really awesome if it was on Blu-ray, but eh, that's besides the point. Yeah, it, do- it doesn't matter too much. Mm-hmm. And on to the next use, we're going on a recap from what we mentioned before. Um, last week, we said that a very special girl by the name of Maddie wanted a birthday wish. And that birthday wish was to receive um, postcards or letters from around the world, from bronies. Because she had a whole um, My Little Pony team birthday thing going on for her. And, well, yeah. we have an update for this week. And the bronies have come in droves with letters. And, oh my god, that's so heartwarming, heart-touching, and really good feelings. You know what I mean? Well, exactly. It, you know, it's such a nice thing to see the community really sort of rally together and give her just an awesome... Is is it a birthday wish, or is this... It's a birthday wish. Um, it's, something it's a birthday wish, and what a birthday for. wish it is. Yeah. Yeah, because like it, it's honestly remarkable. Obviously, her condition is awful, and you know it, it's it's a very sad story. But you know, to see everyone get together, wish her the best of luck, and you know, send these awesome letters, it, it is truly remarkable. And of course, being part of the art art community a little bit, you did see some of these people making art for this and stuff. So it's really remarkable that so many people sent in letters, you know, wishing her the best of luck and you know trying to cheer her up. That honestly, that is absolutely incredible. It's a really nice story you know it's it's a heartwarming one nonetheless yeah true that and one thing to top it is uh uncle hasbro here did one up uh, they sent her oh. some pony gifts which is kind of really cool Oh, that is, yeah, and that's the thing, because, you know, a lot of us in the community, we sort of see Hasbro as, like, the big, giant corporation that's evil, and, you know, that they want to shut us down. But um just to see that Hasbro kind of, like, you know, put their part in, too, and they, they sort of sent their best wishes, they sent some gifts as well, that is also extremely special. So, good on them. That's, you know, really heartwarming stuff. It's one of those things that makes your heart smile a little bit. To add icing on the cake here is that this is not a huge event. This is not going to be spread out all across the news article. You know how some celebrities do some charitable event and they get promoted and stuff? You know what I mean? They they do it for the publicity more so than the actual charity itself. But this looks like it's more, you know, they're doing it because they wanted to do something nice. And and that's what makes this a little bit more special too. It's Mm -hmm. not for the publicity. You know, this isn't going to get on the news, this kind of thing. But it's still nonetheless, you know, it's really a good sign from Hasbro to show that they, yes, they do care about the people in their community and they do care about these sorts of things. It does warm their hearts and, you know, they want to help out too. So it's really nice. Yeah, true that, true that. And nobody's really going to see this except people. People who browse EQD and the Pony channels. So yeah, good yeah. on you, Hasbro. Like, 
A plus from me because you guys did a good job. Absolutely. And definitely worthy of that A plus. <laughs> yep. And also today is her birthday, by the way. Um, oh, well, happy birthday then. Yep. Happy birthday, Mady. I hope you got your wish and you have a good time and hope you get better soon. Absolutely. And I hope you listen to this because, oh boy, it would be very embarrassing <laughs> if you didn't. <laughs> Norman will cry. <laughs> I will. <laughs> no, he'll tear up. Uh, but still, I wish you the best and um, happy birthday. Absolutely. Yep, yep. And on to the next and final news is Disney fine artist Clinton Hobart. Hobart? Brad? Hobart. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Yeah, your, your, your guess is as good as mine. I think it's like Hobart, though. Hobart, all right. Clinton Hobart yeah. draws a question girl's character. So, who is this Clinton Hobart besides the obvious thing we mentioned before? <laughs> Basically, he works for Disney and he is a fine art artist. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know those drawings that Van Gogh did and Picasso did and also who else? Um, I don't know. Name a name and you get it. So basically... Think of your favorite, like, famous artist. Heindega? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but basically think of those um, expensive million dollar drawings like th- from those people. Who drew the Mona Lisa, by the way? Oh, uh, was that Da Vinci or yeah, am I way Vinci. off? I don't know. Probably one of them. Like, think of them and imagine those artists drawing Disney art. So very good stuff, by the way. Just saying, like the, the, his art is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, in terms, it's really good. Yeah, in terms of um art, we see those the kind the kind of art he does is way beyond our level of understanding. Yeah, we, we can't understand it. We just look at it and black out. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's really good artwork. Um, but either way, he was at the, uh, he was at a pony convention, yeah, wasn't he? He was at the Grand Brony Gala. Um, Absolutely. I got no idea where that is because, mm. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, I'm sure it's like somewhere in the States or yeah, something. It, it, somewhere it, far it away. It should from be at the States. Like, you know what? I'm going to do my research for a bit and double check where it is because, who knows? One day they might invite you to their convention, right? Yeah, and I don't want to know. Like, who knows? You never know if they, if they invite you, and then oh, what if you don't know where it is? You just have to start driving off into the sunset. You never know where it is, and <laughs> where am I? You have to ask for directions, but then there's nobody there. Yeah. So the Grand Brony Gala is at Florida. So cool. Um, you want to go to Florida, right? Well, Florida's a very nice place. It's nice and warm. You know, a lot of people vacation there. I know I vacationed there a couple times uh, growing up. Yeah. Uh, it's a very nice place if you like the humidity. <laughs> <laughs> I live in humidity. There you go. Yeah. So you you do just fine in Florida. You might, actually, I think you would like it. You would like it a lot. Probably. Um, but nonetheless, uh, so he was at the Grand Brony Gala, mm-hmm. and he was having apparently a really good time. Yeah. He was he was enjoying it, apparently. And or so we're told. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is true. And this is his first um, – and this is – his first Bruni convention, so that's good. Uh, for him to have a very positive experience, that's good. And, well, the guy from My Little Ties, you know that guy who makes the pony ties? No, but I'm going to nod my head and pretend <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's one of those people who, well, has those really cool neckties. And I think one of our friends here, Wills, he kind of knows the guy like the my little thai guys but anyway um that's besides the point uh the point is the my little thai guy he here commissioned clinton here for some equestrial arts and wow if you ever wanted to see how equestrial characters look in disney form this is your chance here and yeah they look interesting it, it looks pretty cool yeah, yeah, they're, they're really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, he, of course, commissioned the main six plus Sunset Shimmer, mm-hmm. so you've got all six of those there, and those are on his Twitter as well, though be aware, his Twitter is a bit mature. <laughs> yeah, he is a fine artist. He's an artist of all genres. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if you dare look, he has some Cheetos. Like, seriously, it's Cheetos. There is a beautiful, I, I will say, one thing with his style, he's very good at making things like, re- very realistic pieces of artwork you know I, I was looking through his like i've got his bio here and stuff i've seen some of his art and um you've got like pictures of like apples and whatnot very sort of he seems like one of those more very traditional artists mm-hmm. sort of that old school like he'll just pick up a paintbrush and a canvas and he'll make something beautiful you know i don't think he's 
I don't know if he's maybe one of those digital artists like you see nowadays. He doesn't really seem to do that kind of stuff, but still, fantastic artwork. Of course, if you want to see the main six in his style, they are available on his Twitter. And they're really nice, too. I, I'd say, you know, you could tell, like, it was probably the first time he's ever drawn the characters, so there's a few things that could use some, you know, touching up. <laughs> yeah, true, but still, it's one of those cases where... Uh, he's not used to the MLP style or the Hasbro style, and he's doing what yeah. he knows from a Disney background. So, yeah, it works. And also, we need to mention that uh, if you are afraid or if you do not wish to see all those mature art that he does on his Twitter, you can check it out on EQD. EQD has them all listed there, so it's a safe work version of the same art. Absolutely. <laughs> Gotta be careful. And one thing I noticed here, like, he does the nose. You know, the stubby Disney nose from way back when? Yeah, that, um, oh, that cherry nose. Yeah, yeah. Type thing. And Applejack's pose here is really interesting. <laughs> I, I, that was the, I think this, I, I figure this might have been the first one he did because it looks, this is what I was talking about. It looks kind of wonky. Mm. Like she's sort of, um, being like held up. Like she can't, she can't sort of walk straight or something <laughs> for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah. It looks kind of weird. Uh, but then the other ones, I, I mean, the other ones look pretty good. I, I have no real complaints with the other ones. And you can kind of tell, I don't know if these are, at least on EQD, I don't know if these are in order of like which he completed first and whatnot, but maybe they are because you can kind of tell like the first one was, eh, second one was okay, getting better. And then it, you know, as he went on, it started to go, Oh, now he's starting to get it. Okay. Yeah. So, but still they, they look really awesome and uh, certainly recommend you check those out. Indeed. Indeed. And well, those are the news for this week. And well, we have, We've been recording for almost, well, 20 minutes here. So I think that the audience at home might want to know who Ty and that guy is. Probably. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I went to jail for... <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> well, you are involved with the Pony Mafia, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, a couple of mafias. It's very <laughs> awkward. It's a big juggling act. Um, but I, for some reason, I'm still alive, so I've managed to keep this up. Um, the ruse for so long. Uh, basically, you're... <laughs> there is no point off yet, <laughs> just pointing that out. <laughs> no, but you're, uh, whatchamacallit, this uh, reviewer or sort kind of person on the YouTubes? I really don't know what the correct term is, because I don't really review episodes, so I wouldn't really classify as a reviewer. Am I an analyst? Maybe. I do mostly do, like, how-to videos, though. So it's, I, I guess I fall into the how-to category, which in MLP isn't exactly a very popular one, but, uh, you know, I've, I manage. Yeah, you're kind of there. And from what I've seen and from what I heard, you're pretty popular and awesome. But for me, you're just Tyan Lega, the guy I play Make for that lunch. <laughs> no problem. But um, you want to peep yourself out, man? Like, just let people know where can they catch you and whatnot? Well, absolutely. Uh, you can catch me on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Tyandega. And you can also find me on DeviantArt and Facebook, usually following t with a Tyandega art or just Tyandega. So you can find me on there. Searching up Tyandega on DeviantArt will just give, find you the same place anyways. And Tyandega on Facebook is also available there too. I also do do live streams. I do it on Picardo TV. So if you want to find me there, I'm Picardo TV slash Tyandega. So if you want to find me there for some occasional art live streams, maybe even some editing, who knows? Uh, you can find me there, and I'm doing some live stuff there as well. So, yeah, I think that's about it for most of my socials. I keep it pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah. And I did drop by the Picardo art stream, and it seems that Ooh. your table was drinking your water. <laughs> yeah, I sp <laughs> the first time ever on stream, I've spilled some water. That was interesting. So I had to, like, take the time to clean it up and whatnot. Uh, people thought that the, the rubbing of the towel on the table was, like, ASMR. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing where... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> those nice sounds into the microphone. Uh, uh, but either way, that was fun nonetheless. It's always a good time on there. Yeah, so those derps are live on air if you want to catch them. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's the show for this week. I, I, I want to drag it on a bit longer, but I don't want to beat a dead horse. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> well, that's the thing. This week was, um, it may, I, don't, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit slower. The news was, like, there was still some news, but maybe it wasn't a lot to talk about. It was more like, like yeah, this is pretty good. That's awesome. But then there's not much more we can really look into. It's sort of very, you know, print and press. Yeah, true. That. Unless we're going to talk about video game news, which I highly uh -oh. doubt nobody really <laughs> wants to talk about it. Yeah. 
Meanwhile, in the obscure parts of the video game universe. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Anyway, it was fun having you on, Rob. Ruining Ty. Always fun. <laughs> Rob or Ty works. Uh, but no, it's always good to be on. You know, it's always fun. Get some time to talk about the news that's going on in the MLP world. That's yeah, always good. True that, true that. And if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow. You can also reach me personally at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. If you have been following me, I have been posting about food because I like food. Food is good. Food is like the best thing in the world. It keeps you alive. I you know? know, but sometimes it can get you fat. Like that's not good. <laughs> it can get you in trouble. I know. <laughs> yeah, don't get fat though. Yeah, you, <laughs> after eating, no, no, not after eating. Like eat in proportion, eat well, eat healthy, and do a lot of exercise to burn them fat away. Exactly. Yep. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on ponyvalife.com. The links will be in the show notes. And also please subscribe to our latest podcast which is the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast which is available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. If you ever wanted to hear Civil Quill talk about video games, it's over there. If you ever wanted to hear Sapphire go insane because of how crazy silver can be is over there and if you want to hear guest of the week talk about certain topics like for example Matt Munchkin talking about Batman the Killing Joke is over there too hint hint that's a new episode that is coming out spoiler I know <laughs> so if you point that out there <laughs> I know it just hit me because I was editing it but anyway if you ever want to hear those insanity going on Please subscribe because the show needs love. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I've been Ty and Digger. We'll catch you guys next week with another amazing episode of the MBS show. See ya. Have fun guys. Bye.